Hi guys, it's Monday morning. This is the beginning of a vlog. <clears throat> the, I don't know what's wrong with me, but like I didn't put out a vlog for like eight or nine days or a video at all. And then I'm uploading to this morning and now I'm filming another one. So I'm either like 100% in it or 0% in it. And I've actually always known that about me. I'm a very extreme person. Middle ground, like balance, pff, what is that? I don't know, so I guess I'd rather be all in the vlog game than all out of the vlog game. I'm going to the gym because that's what I do. I have a I have a joint session with Emily today, which is nice because I like her. All right, bust you. All right, you're not gonna go. I'm gonna go. Fuck it, whatever. Um, <clears throat> what else do I have on the agenda today? Let's see. I'm going to the gym. After the gym, someone's coming to my apartment to get my to do my nails for me. This is, I've never done this. This is like the bougiest possible thing I could ever do, but I don't like going to the nail salon, which sounds very fucking bougie and just uppity. After that, I am taking my very first private pole dancing slash sensual dancing lesson. I, so let me tell you about how this happened. My life coach made me take this passion test that had all these sort of questions that kind of dig down into like the, what you would actually do with your time if you were like left to your own devices and you didn't really care about money and stuff. And it was, as I was doing this passion test, I kind of got in my feels because so many of those questions like Peter had asked me before. If you don't know about Peter, um, he is my favorite person ever. He's no longer with us, but he used to like gas me up and motivate me. There's a vlog where I talk about him um, called one of my favorite people. And uh, one of the questions was, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And I've never actually tried it before. So I don't know why I listed this, but I listed like a pole dancing, like a pole, pole dancer or dancer. I just think like the coolest thing in the world to be would be like a really cool, like a really good dancer. So anyways, he, my fucking life coach was like, so why are you taking a dance class? And I was like, you're right. Why am I not taking a dance class? Monday morning workout Emily sessions. Hashtag Monday motivation. Hashtag get it. Hashtag summer bod. Hashtag. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle is trying to make space in her schedule by killing Emily and I so that she doesn't have us as clients and then she could take two other clients who complain less than us and who have uh, no injuries. Is that so, Michelle? Is your plan to kill us? Maybe. Yeah, look at that. She got sick, she came back with a vengeance. She's like, fuck these bitches, they complain too much. She's like, I hate sick Michelle. And then now today she's like, I hate healthy Michelle. No, I like, I, I don't like sick Michelle either because sick Michelle is like, doesn't put up with my shit. She's like, I don't care if the exercise is hard, do it. She has, she has no sympathy for me. I'm trying to eat so fast because I just got home from the gym, starving, but the nail artist is here like 20 minutes early or she's gonna be here 20 minutes early. Um. Her name's Carly. I'm literally inhaling my food and I need to chill. This fucking chapstick makes my lips pink and it reminds me of like an old lady, like my, one of my grandma's best friends or something. All my merch right there. My little merch station. Lonelypoke.com. The other colors and I have tape right here. I get I have 30 different colors of it. Look at how professional she is with her little kit right here. Do you want to be on camera? Okay. This is Carly, right? Okay, Mr. <laughs> I love those when I'm scared they can get caught in your hair. That is like my pet peeve when you put your nail in your hair and then your nail your hair. And then like it snaps oh. like when your nail's lifting and it gets yes. stuck in your hair. I don't know what possessed me to get this blue color, but I fucking love it. I was like burgundy, black, pink the whole time. And then all of a sudden this color was like screaming at me. So here we are. That was very fun to just not have to leave my house to get my nails done. I watched The Office during that. And now I'm gonna take a nap because holy shit, I need to become a napper. I'm so sleepy right now. Am I getting better at this doing my own makeup thing or am I totally insane? Because I feel like I'm getting better, but I also don't know if it's just the lighting because 
This is kind of like the world's per most perfect lighting. I look tolerable. I look fuckable, right? I know that these eyebrows need to be done seriously bad. Hopefully, Victoria, my Russian friend, can take care of me tomorrow. I know you like can't really see me, but I'm going to my class, my pole class, and I've made sure to put on makeup for it because the sexier that you feel, the better you will do. That's my tip at least. class was super fun I was shy and nervous and scared but excited the whole time and I feel like those are the greatest moments in your life where you're like I wouldn't say it was 100% present because 20% of me was like feeling nervous but I felt very in the moment and like that's really hard for me to to do a lot and like very in my head but I'm definitely gonna go back I like my teacher she I'm always like critical of teaching styles you know like she was she was patient with me but she also was like trying to get me to get out of my head like like believe in myself a little bit and then like at the end of the class after we had learned like the three combos she recorded me she, it was her idea to, t to videotape it so that I could see myself getting better because otherwise I, w I wouldn't know like how like not skilled I was the first time around um but yeah it was super fun it was super funny she would like you know like She'd be like twerking it and dancing like a stripper because it's pole dancing and like I would do like a combo and then she was like, so you just got $4 right there. That was a $4 dance. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go back. It was super fun. And I would like to say that I thought I would be much less graceful than I was. And so I was kind of okay. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go back because that was, I don't know. I just keep saying it was super fun, but it was, um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm fucking exhausted right now. Um, I'm gonna edit this vlog and then I'm gonna watch The Office and then I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, I'm really excited for tomorrow. You will meet Annika. Annika is going to be my personal assistant and I'm excited to have like her help me out with stuff and just make her hang out with me for no reason at all if I want to because I can <laughs> because I'm gonna be paying her to and I can just have her sit there and be like listening to me talk. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Like and subscribe if you haven't because then you can see my channel in your subscription box and you should turn on your notifications. And also, if you don't know, I don't know why, but YouTube has not like partnered me again after I left my network. And so I don't make any revenue on any of these videos. And that's not why I stopped posting. I just wasn't inspired. But if you do want to support me, there is merch. There's going to be more stuff coming out soon. These scrunchies will be available soon. But I actually don't even think I've showed what I have in my store on this vlog. But... 
I sent it out myself. Anika is obviously going to start helping me. We got this shirt right here. We got the posters for this too. And we got the posters. They're signed by me when you get them. And we also have this shirt, obviously. Some left. I don't think we have every size left, but it's epic, right? Okay, that was the longest goodbye ever. But I love you all. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a good week. And if you're not, do something about it because you can. Um, bye.